And I believe that we're live. Welcome. I'm Jessica Hemtoff, Jessica the Circus Lady from Circus Harmony, sipping my Circus Harmony Defy Gravity Coffee out of this lovely mug given to me by Chauncey Corner. This is a really special show today for a number of reasons. One is the first video, the video we're going to open with, was shot on the National Mall at the Smithsonian Folk Life Festival in 2017. We will also have a guest who was there because she's the mother of two of the children you'll see in the video and also later on in another video from our Balancing Act show. And she's a photographer, hence the, the photo lens mug. But let me go ahead and start the video. Those of you who've watched before, we can only hope that I'll get the right one the right way, the right size and all that. Um, so this is from the Smithsonian Folklife Festival on the National Mall in 2017 to show that there are positive things that can and have and will again happen on the National Mall, the St. Louis Arches. <laughs>
So that was Circus Harmony performing as part of the Smithsonian Folklife Festival on the National Mall in Washington, DC. In response to the recent horror and tragedy that happened on the mall on January 6th, we are posting photos, and that was a video from the time that we spent on the mall to show what can happen when you work together. And also that we were there and it was different and we hope it will be again. So I do apologize. Somebody mentioned that the video was choppy. If anybody out in Facebook land knows how to do a Zoom live stream via Facebook where you're showing a video without it being choppy, please message me because that has been a problem. Now our special guest today, uh, for those of you who are new, we always have a special guest. It could be a student, an alumni, a parent, a board member, someone who's connected to the, who's part of the Circus Harmony family. And then later on, uh, Miss Maple will be doing her trick of the day. She's working on a couple of new tricks. Uh, so without any further ado, well now I don't see her in the waiting room, so I, hmm. That's a problem. Let me let me message her because she was in the waiting room when we started. Uh, so, aren't the miracles of modern technology amazing? That I can be talking to you, texting her on Zoom and Facebook all at the same time. Uh, we do hope that you follow us, Circus Harmony, on Facebook and also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and watch us on YouTube. You can see a lot of videos on YouTube. We did a full show when we were in DC at the Kennedy Center. It was a tremendous honor. We were the only youth group who was invited to do so. And you can see that on YouTube, along with, uh, I'm gonna show you an excerpt in a little while from our video, The Balancing Act, Walking the Pandemic Tightrope. And I'm gonna show you Karen and Oliver, Karen and Oliver, Karen is the mom. I'm gonna show you Oliver and Anna's act that, that they created for that act. It gives you a pandemic perspective. Why am I not seeing her? It gives you a pandemic perspective. Oh, says she's there. Well, there she is. And let's bring her in right now. I apologize. Oh my goodness, I am such a techno peasant. Yay. I'm Hello. so sorry. It's okay, hi. Uh, <laughs> this is Karen Lair, who is the mother of some of our students, is a student herself, has hosted coaches and German youth circus interns, has been a photographer. Your photograph was the one we posted today from when we were at the Smithsonian. Um, and you've also been a costume designer. You made some the wonderful uh, eagle costume. So the wings, <laughs> the wings. So how did you end up running away and joining the circus and getting more and more and more involved? Well, it started with my son when he was going into third grade. Um, his school was looking for a movement activity, and one of his classmates, Isabella was attending classes at Circus Harmony and her mom suggested that we do this. So we set up carpools every Friday afternoon and hauled our kids to the city museum to do circus training. And right now, Isabella and Oliver are at Circus College together in Montreal. They're at Ecole Nationale de Cirque, which is harder to get into than Harvard or Yale. And who would have thought that when they were eight? Right. So these Especially two were those two because Isabella's so shy and Oliver was just, oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. So we blame Isabella <laughs> and her family. And that's how we ended up um, with our first step into Circus Harmony. And then I think after two years of that, I enrolled Oliver and my middle child, Anna, in circus camps and they loved it. And 
the, the rest is history, as they say. You know, Oliver discovered his passion for circus and continued all the way into a professional circus school. Anna is in high school and still loves it. And my youngest did participate for a year, but it was not her thing. <laughs> But she still gets dragged along to everything and is excited to show up for. And then the audience, and also she's one of the hostesses. Yes. Part of the family. So I know that Marisa, Marisa Diamond, who's one of our favorite uh, guest coaches, stays with you whenever she comes to town, mm -hmm. which is sometimes for a year at a time. I say <laughs> guest coach, but. And then how many of our German interns have? I hosted three, I believe. I started with, uh, I dipped my toes in with Jonas for three months when he needed someplace to stay for the summer. Mm -hmm. um, Milena then came to stay, I believe, for seven months, and I had a five-day turnaround, and then Elena came and stayed for a year. After that, I ended up with coaches. So I've had Claire and um, Marisa multiple times, right, right. and, you know, Marisa and her mom are now family, and we started doing conditioning, I guess, 10 months ago together via Zoom. Uh, we've even brought Rose in, another of the interns who joins us oh, for that. So, so my circus family has expanded throughout the country and the world, which has been really wonderful. Right. And we were just working with Circus Circuli in Stuttgart. And when we go to Stuttgart, we are hoping that you're going to be our chaperone because you're very familiar with Stuttgart and you speak German. Yes. A little bit about that. Yeah. So my mom is German and her hometown is Stuttgart. So this was really fun for me to see that. And of course, I'd love to go because I could probably, you know, supply food. <laughs> I have a number of relatives in the Stuttgart area. And uh, it was really fun to watch the video and see all these familiar places. For people who don't know, we did the Sister City Circus video, which you can see on our YouTube page. And the kids created acts online, and Anna was part of it. And then we found iconic architectural sites in both cities because we were celebrating the 60th anniversary of Stuttgart and St. Louis being sister cities and shot the videos and showed them side by side. It was really fun. And I've been to, to some of those places. I recognize them. And then right before, so you've been on the sidelines and in the audience and sewing and taking pictures and doing a lot of driving, but you've never actually done that much circus yourself until last spring, you were in our adult class and we were just starting to get ready for the show. Oh, and you joined the unicycle club. I did. And you know, so actually you know, your youngest. My first circus experience though, I believe was flying trapeze. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot. Yes, when we did the flying trapeze and you did very well. Yes. You know, here was this middle-aged woman who hadn't done anything really strongly athletic in years and I was still able to do some tricks and get caught. It was fantastic. And by the way, Matt Rizzurito has announced his, his wedding date is going to be in April. Matt ran our, was an alumni who ran our flying trapeze. So mm -hmm. models up to Matt and Nicole. So you had forgotten the flying trapeze. Then you and Elsa came to Unicycle Club. And Anna. And Anna. And I remember you, the first time you got like a few pedals and you said, now I understand what they love so much and why it's so, I don't know if you use the word addictive, but what it is about circus that that makes people keep coming back, even though it's hard. It, it is hard, but there's something really rewarding. And, you know, I loved the adult class because, you know, unlike so many sports, which are so competitive, everybody is just so genuinely happy at, at any achievement and so supportive and cheering you on. And, and there were parents in that and there was a young woman. I mean, there were, it was a mix of adults. Yeah. And it was, it was really fun. Some of it was hard. I realized that I really needed to beef up my arm and core strength if I ever wanted to dream of doing anything aerial. But, you know, for years, I've watched these kids do these things like globe, um, rollabola, and they, you know, even feather balancing. They make everything look so easy. I assure you, it's not as easy as it looks. It's not. On the other hand, you can't accomplish it. Yes. And rather than doing just exercises, although conditioning, and we have great conditioning classes, but when you're working to do a trick on the trapeze, you are strengthening your core, core and arms, 
and the reward is so great that you're, it's not like doing a million reps. So it's a, it's a lot more fun. And in the end, not only do you have, you know, a six pack to show, you have a whole act. Right. Well, and, and unfortunately COVID hit um, before we really got to start putting together the acts, we were still playing with the different apparatus and, and experimenting and doing some conditioning and whatnot. But it was really, it was really exciting for me to get, to get onto the trapeze and to try silks. Uh, even though I couldn't do anything and I didn't really have a chance to try much, um, I did get to do a knee hang and, and try some other things on trapeze and get a sense for why. Photos are so on fun. Facebook. I know. <laughs> but, you know, really it was through the class and the unicycle that I finally understood. Uh-oh, she froze. Uh, Karen, you're frozen. If you can hear me, try turning your camera off and then back on again. But we are once again offering classes at City Museum. I don't know if the whole thing is frozen or just Karen, but we are offering classes at City Museum. They're micro classes. So we only have two to three people in a class at a time. Uh, we're doing from now through uh, the end of March and then we'll do another eight week session. So keep your eye on that. We do have some small spots for private or semi-private, but these are all masked and socially distanced. And so to do the trapeze, you already have to have some experience, but we have other classes and we have online classes. So she's gone off. I'm wondering if she's going to come back on. Um, we are also available to do shows to come to you via Zoom or workshops. Uh, we do great team building workshops online. And the shows that we do are on Zoom. If we come to you, they need to be outside. So it's a little chilly, uh, although we've been doing some. So just contact us through our website, through Facebook, or email us. There's information. Uh, on this, on this page. And also please do follow us on our Circus Harmony page. I'm not sure what happened to Karen and I'm going to go ahead and maybe she has texted me. Um, so I'm very grateful for Karen for coming on the show. The next video I'm gonna show is from our, sh our show, The Balancing Act. And her two children, her two older children, Oliver and Anna, um, had this extra time together because of the quarantine and the pandemic, and they created this act. Um, they, uh, they asked if they could wear whatever they wanted for the act, and I said yes. They were also active in the, the protest uh, in St. Louis over the summer. And now I bring you an act that we called sibling rivalry. Hopefully, me being a techno peasant and all, um, hoping it's here. I am super happy my brother was here during these five months of quarantine. trained together, messed with each other, and ate junk food late at night and watched TV together, and we laughed and were silly. Ooh. Ooh. I'm tired. <sighs> no. No, please. Just Why? let me rest. Let me rest. Oh, fine. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going down. What? I confided in him and teased him about being super lazy.
So that was, that was Anna and Oliver in our show, The Balancing Act. I'm gonna go ahead and bring Karen back in just to say goodbye. She texted me and said, said her internet went out. It did, and then I have no SIM on my iPhone, so I have to troubleshoot that. Well, thank you. I just showed uh, the Sibling Rivalry Act, <laughs> which was really fun. All right, I'm going to let you go and do Maple's trick of the day, and then I have to teach a class, actually. Oh, thanks for having me. Anything else that you would say to people who are curious about circuits and whether or not it could fit in their lives? They don't have to get as totally immersed as you and your family. You know, just take a class and find out why it's so fun to run away and join the circus. And it doesn't matter what shape you're in, what age you are any of that. It's just really, really fun. Thank you. And I'm so happy that your family is part of the family. Me too. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. So now we have this awkward moment where I move the computer to the floor. Look for, oh, Miss Maple heard that and she has woken up. I'm going to show you what Miss Maple's been working on. So she's going to the circus. Oh, you know it's part of the show already. Look at you. Miss Maple has brought, of course, Circus Harmony's Defy Gravity Coffee. It's full bean, Guatemalan, Colombian coffee, roasted here in St. Louis. It's really good coffee. When you buy the coffee, it supports the Circus Harmony Scholarship Fund. So it gives you a lift, helps the child fly all in one cup. So order coffee. You can do it online or there is a link with this video. All right, Miss Maple, you want to show them the new trick you're working on? I think that's so funny. She saw the computer go down on the floor and me to go get the coffee. Okay, we're hoping to travel again one day soon. So Maple's working on getting in a suitcase. Pack up. Pack up. Look at pack. Pack. You got to be all the way down. All the way down. So she's really good about getting in the suitcase. We're working on her staying in the suitcase. Don't worry, there's actually a dog carrier, but we are hoping to travel again. Ready? She's a good girl. Okay, huh. The other trick Miss Maple is working on is jumping through a tissue paper hoop. So we are not yet connecting the tissue paper. Just getting her used to, oh, you can do better than that. Hup, hup. There you go. Getting her used to the noise of the paper. And then it'll get hup, tighter and tighter hup, until, hup, until eventually she'll jump through, tear the paper. We'll wad it up. She will pick it up and throw it in the trash. Thank you so much. So those are her new tricks. Of course, she, she already has her standard trick, her favorite trick. Well, you can do your favorite trick first from here. Thank you so much. It's a nice bow. Her favorite trick, of course, is jumping through the hoop of fake fire. Are you ready, Maple? Hup! I said it's your favorite trick. Yes, you have to Hup! Good girl. Hup! Good girl. Hup! So marvelous, Miss Maple. Oh. We were gonna we were gonna wrap this up with the wrap up trick, right? Can you get me the tortilla? Get the tortilla. Bring me the tortilla. Go to the circus. Nope, that's go home. Get the tortilla. The tortilla. There you go. Good girl. So we do have our giant tortilla. Thank you for helping me down and wrap it up all the way. Good girl. All right, go shelter in place. Shelter in place. Shelter in place. 
Thank you so much. And that was the marvelous Miss Maple. So don't forget to order your coffee. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We'll be posting show pictures every day from when we were on the National Mall um, in the hopes that there is peace and people working together on the National Mall throughout the United States and the world. So I'm Jessica Hentoff. Thank you for letting us make your day a circus day. Uh, cheers again. Chauncey got me this mug because I take a lot of circus pictures. And I'm really excited because Chauncey, who was one of the people at the Smithsonian, is now coaching one of our other students, Finn, uh, who you've seen in a lot of the videos, including the Smithsonian. And Finn is working on an act for St. Louis Teen Talent Competition, which is coming up. Uh, so are several of our other students. I'm excited about all these acts and more on those soon. So once again, thanks very much. One last thing, Circus Harmony's next big show is going to be the Circus Harmony Cookbook and Show. It'll be a book of recipes, digital recipes. Each recipe will be paired with a circus act. We are looking for sponsors of the Circus Harmony Cookbook and Show. So if you or someone you know would like to be a sponsor, if you want to mention this to the Schnooks or Deerberg family, if you know somebody at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, or if you own a restaurant, we'll share our recipes with you. Uh, let us know. You can always reach us through our website, which is circusharmony.org. Meanwhile, thanks again, as always, to City Museum, our gracious host for this live stream. And also, something just popped up on my computer that I don't know if you're seeing. And I don't know how to get rid of it, which is going to make, there we go. So City Museum has been our gracious host for this live stream. It's also where we, where we have our home base. If you're there and it's open, I believe just on weekends, so check their website, citymuseum.org, get your tickets, go, it's very spacious. If you're walking by the circus, chances are you'll see one of our micro classes in action or some of our performers practicing. Um, Kellen Quinn and Danielle. Uh, Kellen Quinn is our world-renowned juggler and his partner, Danielle, together they form the duo Duke, are gonna be back in town working on a new act. If you're super lucky, you'll walk by while they're working on an act and they are available for Zoom teaching and shows as well. Yeah, check out Kellen Quinn, The Kellen on YouTube. Uh, he's also selling a clothing line now, um, but his videos are really fun. And thank you again. See you next Tuesday. Don't forget to order your coffee. Thanks for letting me make your day a circus day. <laughs>